Hello everyone, my name is Tia Online and today I show you a quick overview of all collectible mementos in the Elder Scrolls Online. Mementos are similar to emotes, but can only be performed if you use the corresponding item within your collection. Once you unlock the memento with a specific quest or achievement, it will be added to your collection and is account wide for all your characters available. You can use mementos as often as you want without consuming the item. If you are looking for a specific memento, take a look in the description. Alma Alexia's Enchanted Lantern can be obtained by assisting Alma Alexia. Travel to the city Mournhold in Deshan. Speak in Mournhold with any of the ordinators to start a quest a favor returned. During the quest progress, Alma Alexia rewards you with Alma Alexia's Enchanted Lantern. The memento Lena's went of finding saps the chickens with red lightning and makes them explode, sending them flying into the air. Visit the Academy of Magic Shad Astula in the northern part of Deshan. Obtain the vision quest from Archmage Valen. This quest will reward you with Lena's Vent of Finding. For the next memento, we visit the Forgotten Crypts in Deshan. Inside the dungeon you will find Sela. You have to complete with her two quests. The first one is a family divided. After you completed the second quest to the pill, Sela will give you the memento Questionable Meat Sack. For the Black Feather Court Whistle, you have to travel to Devon's Watch in Stonefalls. In the eastern part of Devon's Watch, near the harbour, you will find the entrance to Crow's Wood. Talk to the Crow, Knave of Wooks, to start the quest Decree of the Court. If you use the Blackfeather Court Whistle near a corpse, you will call the Blackfeather Court to feast. Next, we have to travel to the public dungeon, the Lion's Den, which is located in the southwestern part of the Rift. The quest, Available Distraction, from the quest giver Priya Snow Rider, will reward you with the Justice Falcon. This memento sends out a falcon to retrieve a random small creature and drops it in front of you. The memento Lotus Crown can be obtained in East March. In the city Windhelm you have to visit the public dungeon, the Hall of the Dead. Inside the dungeon talk to Malana to start the quest Lost Crown. After you finish this quest you will get Lotus Crown, which summons the spirit of Lodor, who will briefly talk. You will die for your insolence! Now we go to Shadowfen. You have to visit the public dungeon Sanguine's Domain, which is not far away from the city Stormhold. Speak to the user Trillwest to start the quest for in Vintage. Complete this quest and you will obtain the Memento Sanguine's Goblet, which causes you to drink and summon a ghost division of a spy. For the next Memento we visit the public dungeon Toothmaw Gully in Auridon. Inside you have to speak to Pirondil to start the quest the Toothmaw Ploy. For completing this quest you will be rewarded with the Battered Bear Trap Memento. Next we go to Gratwood. Between Eldenwood and Haven you can find the Wood Sunder Ruins. Speak to Theodore to obtain the quest Forgotten Soul. As a reward you will get the memento token of Wood Sunder which causes flowers to sprout. Now we have to travel to Greenshade. Not far away from the Serpent's Grotto Way Shrine is the public dungeon Rulein its Fall. Inside you find Endarve who will give you the quest The Dead King. For completing his quest you will obtain the memento Nenwen's sword which summons the spirit of Nenwen who will briefly talk. The next destination is the Crimson Cove in Malabal Tor. Talk to Glanir to start the quest Naval Intelligence. As a reward you will obtain the memento Glanir's smoke bomb which creates a puff of smoke. In the northern part of Yukos March, not far away from the fort Grimwatch Way Shrine, you will find a public dungeon the Vilemans. For completing the quest The Waking Dreamer, you will earn the Discourse Amaranth and Memento, which causes a vision of Hermeus Mora. Now you have to travel to Glenumbra. Near the Daggerfall Harbor, you have to enter the Batman's Hallows Dungeon. You have to talk to Finnweer to start the quest Can't Take It With Them. If you successfully completed this quest, you will get the Memento Finnweer's Trinket, which will cause a pillar of light to emerge from your character. In the southwest of Stormhaven, you have to visit the Bone Stamp Ruin. Obtain the quest repairing the cage from Battlemage Gaston. Your reward will be the Bone Stamp Binding Stone Memento, which will temporarily encase you in a force field. Our next destination is Alike Desert. Next to the Sap Spine Way Shrine, you have to enter the lost city of the Nato Dumbo. Once you are inside in a dungeon, talk to Paldin to start the quest Secrets of the Lost City. For completing this quest, you will get the Yukudan's totem, which summons mummies which salute to you. Next, you have to go to Riven Spire and visit the Obsidian Scar. Inside the dungeon, you have to speak to Lashkik to start the quest Foul Deeds in the Deep. 
For completing this quest, you will get the Fetish of Anger Memento. The next memento is hidden in the eastern part of Cold Harbor. Travel to the village of the Lost, which is not far away from the Everfull Flagon Ray Shrine. Talk to Mesatro to start a quest Holes in the World. Finish this quest and you will get Mesatro's Sealing Amulet. This memento creates a planar rift and your character has to close it. Even in Cyrodiil you can obtain a memento. Visit Tala's Winery or Wilmin's Winery or Summon's Winery to get a quest Nunut Wine. After you completed this quest, you will be rewarded with the Memento Nunrut Wine, which causes your character to act drunken. For the next Memento, we have to visit any inn in Tamriel and speak with Alessio Gwilin to obtain the quest The Missing Prophecy. After you successfully completed this quest, you will be rewarded with the Twilight Chart. This quest was introduced as a prologue to introduce the Morwen chapter. Now we have to visit any Major Guild headquarters in Tamriel to find a note on a table out of the Eye Dispatch. Read the note to receive the quest of Knives and Long Shadows, which is the Clockwork City Polo quest. Once completed, the Clockwork Obscurus memento will be added to your collection. There are also some special mementos, which you could obtain from special holiday events in the Elder Scrolls Online. For example, you could obtain from the first anniversary event 2016 the Jubilee Cake memento. While the event was active, the cake gave you double XP when you ate a piece of it. For the anniversary event 2017, you got the second annual jubilee cake. Both cakes could be obtained from the quest Egg for Cake from Chef Donolon. During the new Life Festival event 2016, you could obtain new life gift boxes as a reward from several holiday event quests. You could find inside of these reward boxes a wound box mud ball pouch. When you open this wound box, the mud ball pouch memento was added to your collection. This memento allows you to throw mud balls on other players and certain NPCs, covering them in mud. At the beginning of the Witches Festival event, you could obtain the Witch Mother Whistle memento as a reward from the Witch Mother's Bargain Quest. This memento summons the Witch Mother's Brew in a cloud of crows. Drinking the brew during the event will transform your character into a skeleton for two hours, along with a double XP bonus. From the last Jester's Festival, you could also obtain some mementos. If you used the Pie of Misfo Memento during the Jester's Festival, it gave you a 100% experience boost. Sometimes you could find in the Jester's Festival gift boxes the Cherry Blossom Branch Memento. This memento allows you to throw Cherry Blossom Petals. But you can also throw them on other players, which will give them for a short time a halo of flower petals. You can also gather some mementos in DLC areas. For the following mementos you need to have access to the Orsinium DLC. Visit the public dungeon or Dorsinio, which is located in the western part of Hrothgar. Inside, near the entrance, speak to Nashrut to start the quest Flames of Forge and Fallen. Complete this quest successfully to obtain Malakath Wrathful Flame. This memento causes the player to shout a battle cry and raise a battle axe above your head and leave a fiery trail. In the northeastern part of Hrothgar, you'll find a public dungeon Rikinda left. Talk with Klo Basha inside the dungeon to get the quest A Heart of Quest. For completing this quest, you will get through Kinderlef's hidden treasure rent. For the next memento, you need to have access to the Thief's Guild DLC. The memento, Coin of Illusory Riches, can be obtained by completing the achievement A Cut Purse Above. Visit the Thief's Den in Abba's Landing and read Kari's hit list. Steal all 16 items from the list and bring them back to the Thief's Den to obtain the memento, Coin of Illusory Riches. I already created an in-depth guide for this memento, which I will link in the description. If you have access to the Dark Brotherhood DLC, you can collect more mementos. One memento is the Blade of the Blood Oath, which you can acquire if you complete the Bane of the Gold Coast achievement. That means you have to earn the Gold Coast Adventurer, Defender of the Gold Coast, Gold Coast Pathfinder, Silencer and the Gold Coast Cave Delver achievement. The other memento is the Box of Forbidden Relics. To obtain this memento, you have to earn the Flawless Sacrament achievement. For that you have to complete 6 achievements which are all related to the Black Sacrament contract achievements. The Blackest Sacrament was the most difficult achievement to complete since you have to assassinate so many targets and you can only do one sacrament quest per day. So you need a bit of time until you are able to fulfill this achievement. With the Clockwork DLC you can obtain the Amphor Projector Memento if you complete the Hero of Clockwork City achievement. In order to get this achievement, you have to complete the Clockwork City Adventurer, Clockwork City Defender, Clockwork City Pathfinder, 
The Burden of Knowledge and the Clockwork City Cave Devil Achievement. For the following mementos you need to have access to the Morrowind chapter. Follow the main quest of Morrowind and the fourth quest is Divine Intervention which you will get from Arch Cannon Tarus. If you finished this long quest you will be rewarded with the memento Replica Tonal Inverter. Another memento can be obtained in the public dungeon not shifting. Speak to Niramo in front of the dungeon to obtain the quest The Heart's Desire. After you completed this quest you will be rewarded with Niramo's Lightning Stick Memento. You can find in the northern part of Wardenfell the Forgotten Ways. Inside the dungeon you have to talk with Tissis Nirith to start the quest Echoes of a Fallen House. Complete this quest and you will be rewarded with the Dreamer's Chime. Of course you can also obtain mementos with crowns. If you like to gamble you can purchase crown crates. If you are lucky you will maybe get the collectibles you like. For example you could collect from the Wild Hunt crown crates a Wild Hunt Transform Memento which gives your character for a short time a spriggan like appearance. Another example is the Wild Hunt Leaf Dance Aura Memento which is also from the Wild Hunt crown crates. This memento creates a swirling green aura and celestial leaf effect around your character. I hope you enjoyed my overview of the collectible mementos in the Elder Scrolls Online. It would be amazing if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. Have a good day and until next time, tschüss!